Hey internet, what's happening? It is Monday, May the 3rd at 4.30 in the morning but just wanted to show you guys this cube as you may have noticed I have done building this now and uh, there's still some testing I have to do in this bit of spotty you know, w shoddy work, but I mean, it's for the most part done. So it's powered by USB, 5 volt USB, and uh, for the microcontroller, I'm just using the uh, Arduino Uno microcontroller. I just kind of attach this perf board here, and um, I guess just a bit of overview of how this thing works. Uh, we're using um, 20 control lines, uh, four for ground and. Uh, I guess first let's explain exactly what's going on here. So here's the LED cube, and it has um, an array of four by four LEDs that are stacked four layers high, uh, providing a total of sixty-four LEDs, and uh, for each. Um, column there's 16 columns so they have their own resistor per column as you could see over here maybe you can't see but underneath underneath all those wires is a resistor bed or so I come to call it and uh, what it does it provides plus 5 volts to depending on how the microcontroller is programmed to these uh, columns here and likewise these transistors here are used to switch on the ground layers for the four layers so how this works is every layer every layers cathode is connected together and sent to a common ground so four ground wires and on the underside of this, every anode is connected in a column. So 16 wires for the anodes, plus another 4 for ground layer, is 20 control lines. And uh, right now I just have a simple program running on here that just randomly lights up a single LED. But... Um, in terms of the animations you can do with this, it, they're pretty much unlimited as to what you can get this to actually do. But like I said, this is only a very simple program right now. So, conceptually how this works is, in order to have more than one LED on at a time, it would require massive amounts of current. But, using a phenomenon I guess called persistence of vision um, if you know through software you could light up say this LED and at the same time you want to light up that LED it wouldn't be possible to do that because you'd have to provide voltage to the ground layer of this level and at the same time provide voltage to these two LEDs which in the process would cause more than the two that you wanted to light up but using software what we what we're able to do is quickly turn on this one and then turn it off and then turn on that one and then repeat the process in a loop so fast that the human eye can't perceive any time delay between the two um, LEDs flashing on and off therefore it looks like they're both on at the same time so that's that's kind of an overview how that works what else can I say about this thing uh, it was really fun to build, and uh, it well, actually was it was kind of a pain, really. Like the, the painful part was getting all the all these solder joints to work properly. But I don't know how well this is going to show up on video. Hmm. Yeah. So definitely a lot of soldering. But this is the first iteration of this I have, and I want to make a second one, a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer looking. Um, 
and try to get this encased in, in, in glass to make it look all pretty like but <coughs> like I said that's that's the first iteration of it so yeah that's all I wanted to share it seems like a it's a very boring morning this morning it's like everything's everyone's sleeping of course and it's just blah but hopefully I'm gonna get this cube to function better through the magic of software and uh, we'll see what other amazing things I can accomplish after this I do want to get um, started on some motor projects and uh, but that's a little bit later it's coming for now that's it